This is Colonel Tracy Roberts, your pastor of prosperity with words of wisdom and nuggets of knowledge. This is Colonel Tracy Roberts, your pastor of prosperity, and today we're going to be talking about the power of I am. You know, there have been times in my life when I've either made good decisions or I made decisions that I didn't think were so well. And when I would go back in time, then I would look at it and I would go, oh my gosh, if only, if only I had done this or that. If only I had invested in those stocks. What that does is that takes me out of my present peace and puts me into a state of looking to the future with anxiety in my heart. So today we're going to talk about the power of I am and how I am statements can change your world and change your life because you're declaring who you are in the now. Sometimes you may be saying it by faith, but you are saying it, and we're going to talk about how that, that makes it uh, where you're able to accomplish what you want to do because you focus on the second in time. Your family will love you more for it. Your, whoever you're working with, the business that you're involved in will love you more for it. Uh, when you're on a vacation, your wife will love you more for it. Uh, whoever you're with is going to love you because of the power of I am. When Moses went up on the mountain, Moses is the great lawgiver. When he went up on the mountain and he came down, he was about to come down with the Ten Commandments, then he asked the question, well, who do I tell the children of Israel? Who do I say sent me? And the answer that he received was interesting to me. And this is in Exodus chapter 3. What he was told was, tell them, I am that I am sent you. And I, I went over those words, those five simple words many times. And what I found was that there is power in the I am. And you're going to see it here and now. With, the, I, with I am, it's keeping me in the, in the now. And right in this moment, right in this moment in time. There are people that sometimes they focus on their past. They're always looking back and saying, if that and if I would have done something different, if I had gone to school, well, whatever they're using, and it keeps them in the past because they're always looking there, always focus on that past. And they lose all the joy in the here and now. And what I've found and what I've read is that the past is where depression exists. Because I'm, because I'm looking at and wishing that something had changed, that I would have done, acted a different way. And so the past is where you, you find depression. And if you ever feel those, those moments of depression coming into your life, then that's where you might want to look and say, oh, what I'm now doing is I'm focusing on the past. I'm not living in the, in the present. And then the future. Now, do I prepare for the future? Yes, I do. Do I, do I set things up so that my family will be better off when I'm gone? Yes, I do. I've prepared for the future because that's my legacy and the thing that I'm going to be doing. But I've also found that if we focus on and if I live in the future, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be in a state of anxiety. So if you're ever feeling anxiety, it's because you're in, you're in fear for the future. You're not sure what the future will bring. None of us know what the future is going to bring, but I can do a few things that will make it better. Uh, if you ever see us, Lewis, when he wrote the screw tape letters in the, in the document, there's the, this devil and he's talking to his little nephew. He's teaching him how to be a devil. And in it, he tells, he tells his nephew, he says, look, here's what you want to do with people. You want to keep them in the past. If you can't keep them in the past, keep them in the future. But do not, whatever you do, do not let them be in the here and the now. Wow. 
the here and the now because that's the present. That is the I am place of being. And when, I, when I'm not in the past and not living in the future and I'm just here, then I get to live in a space of peace and harmony and love and joy and excitement because I'm focusing on the here and the now. And I love to have peace in my life. And that's where the great, the great I am. That's where the I am statements come into to play. So when you are declaring, you're making statements about yourself, even if you're speaking it by faith and you say, I am powerful. I am more than enough. I am strong. I am a leader. I'm a teacher. I am one who gives to the world. I make the world a better place because I'm living and breathing on the earth. I am because a very powerful thing. And if we wanted to take it, if I wanted to take you out to Sunday school real quick, then here's what I would say. That because it's so powerful, when Moses asked God what his name was, I've looked and I've found a lot of different names in the scripture. But when I found only one time was God ever asked what his name was, and he said, I am. I am that I am. And so when I'm making an I am statement, I'm declaring the source, the power that, that is more, that is greater than all things. And I'm saying, I am more than enough. And I'm, I'm going to leave you with this idea. Anytime that I'm using the I am in a negative form, then I am... I am moving in the wrong direction at that moment, but I'm always moving in the right direction. I choose to be in the right place. So I am, use it with power, but also make sure that when you're using an I am statement in your life, that you're using it in a positive way and never in a negative way. This is your pastor of prosperity, Colonel Tracy Roberts, leaving you with a blessing of prosperity, abundance, and favor. God bless you as you bless others. And remember, live in purpose and on purpose always. I love you. Amen. And have a beautiful life.